It's amazing what technology lets us do these days. We're able to harvest so many valuable products from the watershed that were useless before the innovation revolution. My name is Jed. I work for a company called P-Cycles. We harvest excess phosphorus from the water and soil and then recycle it to be reused in fertilizers and other industrial products. Phosphorus used to be a nuisance here in the Ohara watershed. It really messed up the lakes. But now, it's a big moneymaker for us, thanks to all the innovation that's happened in the recent decades. In fact, because of this innovation, the lakes are cleaner now than they've been in the past 150 years. And the lakes have become a real barometer for our region's well-being. It's exciting to live in one of the country's technology meccas. There's so much high-tech, biotech, green tech, the county is really booming. There's lots of jobs and opportunities for growth, and the university turns out some really bright ideas, and all the investment and innovation makes Yahara an entrepreneur's playground. My family owns Shed Valley Farm. We grow legumes to make synthetic meats. Back in the day, we were a cattle farm, but when the meat and dairy market started going under, Dad really turned it around. Back in the 2030s, when the innovation revolution got started, a big focus of R&D here in Yahara was on reducing the impacts of agriculture on the lakes and the climate. By then, livestock operations were causing nearly one-third of global greenhouse gas emissions. And here in Yahara, well, we had a messy problem with manure, which put tons of phosphorus into the lakes. One of the solutions became creating meat alternatives, or motherless meats, as some people call them. So now we can create meats that actually look and taste like the real thing by using plant materials to grow muscle tissue. That meant some pretty big changes for livestock farms like ours, though. Dad decided to break with family tradition and switch from real meat to raw materials for the synthetic meat. Dad uses some of the most advanced technology on our farm. We got crop bots, ag drones, do-it-yourself genetic engineering, our farm used to be at the cutting edge, but now that pretty much all farmers use this technology, we're just part of the norm. My brother Cole, though, is pretty skeptical of all this technology. He thinks that engineering everything has made us disconnected from nature. He wishes we still farm like they did in the old days, back when farmers used to get their hands dirty, as he says. He's also always talking about unintended consequences and technology failures. Uh, he has a point, I guess. It's hard to find anything truly natural these days, and technology does backfire on us sometimes, like when the, that antibiotic-resistant gene got into Lake Mendota a few years ago and infected a bunch of people. It's also a little worrying to think what could happen if we actually do start trying to engineer the climate as some people think we should. But overall, I think nature's losses are our gains, and mistakes are just part of the process. Can't let risks and setbacks blind you from the benefits. And anyway, Dad claims the innovation revolution has made our standard of living higher than ever before. And technology has helped us prevent some bad things from happening as a result of climate change. As long as technology can keep up, I think our future is pretty bright.